astral just when you're projecting it's just you're no good at looking at it without sensing it's unfortunate okay just to figure out things and everything yeah i, I get you all right well I'll, i can't do much of anything there so i'm gonna zip back in my body because there's you know no real point to that right now hmm all right what are you guys gonna do Um, I don't see a huge, like, advantage to being proactive in this. Mm-hmm. Like, eventually they have to hit one of these places, and we can go and deal with them there. Cool. Well, so, yeah, are you guys just going to play the defensive until further notice, uh, essentially? Kind of. We're, want we're to, just, yeah. uh, my... I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What we're gonna do is we're going to keep an eye on it. On we're going to play defensive. Keep an eye on if we can. If we can spot them, and if we spot them, hit them as hard as we can. Yes, that'd be good. I mean, ninjas are fun and all, but you can't really hide from the astral that well. Hmm. Okay, it's about 5 p.m. on day one. You decide that, you know what? The Seattle Art Museum is probably a low-priority target. The marina has a spirit that can tell you if anything happens. You guys are going to stake out the apartment. And you start waiting, and the clock starts ticking. It ticks into the evening, to the night. You sleep in ships. Uh, whoever's got insomnia doesn't get a good that good sleep because you're sleeping on shifts. It goes on to day two. You get some food yeah. from the well-appointed fridge in the apartment. You hang around. You scan the horizon with binoculars. You look at apartment buildings up and down. You see nothing. You do matrix perceptions. You really don't see anything. Maybe you've rumbled them. Maybe they won't attack. You don't know. Still, it mm. continues. Your defensive play keeps going. Day two passes slowly, and into the night. The night continues. You will get decent sleep, despite sleeping on shifts. It passes into day three. And are you guys getting weary that nothing's happening yet? Or are you just um, going, I'm definitely if nothing's going happening, be... then... All right. Okay. The museum, I'm definitely going to pay more attention to, like, as nothing's happening. But Yeah. Mm. The museum is the low-priority target, but something still might happen to it. Yeah. I guess we'll occasionally rotate, like, during the day, have one person stay at the apartment, another person, like, kind of go towards the uh, museum. Like, I guess, like, rotate computing people and do things like that you guys change your playbook during the day the three of you spread it spread out of the three locations during the night you'll retreat to the apartment mm. it day three passes without overt incident there's a minor bit of scuffle with the police but you managed to pass off your shotgun without too much effort there let us uh mm. vector nine you actually get into a long and heated discussion about modern art with some random person at the Seattle Art Museum. I, I, I Lowry, do make sure I'm courteous about it, though. Yeah, Lowry, you discover that the Tridio system has access to over 20,000 Tridio channels. And day three wow. passes into the night. The three of you reconvene. And oh, fun. The night of day three passes without incident. You sleep in shifts. Day four arrives. Still nothing. Your spirits have not gotten anything. You guys have not seen your assailants in, you know, two solid days. And yet you're still here playing guard duty. And you're still, you know, actively watching out. And day four comes to a close and into the sure. night of day four so question who would be yes. awake at 3 a.m uh, uh i guess i would 
it makes Probably sense insomniac. for Vector too because you know he has insomnia. He's up and down the entire night. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, like Les probably would be asleep at that point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a moment, but probably be when he wakes up for like three hours before going back to sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and insomnia is not fun, guys. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, if it's three a.m. and you're on watch, what are you doing? Me personally. Yeah, Victor Nine. What are you doing when you're on uh, watch at three a.m.? Well. He's not on watch, probably. Lowry would be the one on watch. Vector is he's, the one. Yeah, he's just trying to sleep. Okay, then. So Lowry is the one on watch. Lowry is the one on watch. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so what are you doing when you're on watch, Lowry? Um, I'm basically just... Uh... Mostly just patrolling, keeping an eye out for anyone, for anything suspicious. Uh, probably going to spend a little bit of time on the roof. Right. I might summon. I, I might summon a summon a spirit for shits and giggles. Maybe just have somebody to talk to while I patrol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're patrolling, you know, not doing much, talking with your spirit as you're on the floor down by the elevator, yeah? Yeah. How fast is uh, one circuit that you patrol? Uh, I'd probably, I'd probably do about a... Say ten, fifteen minutes. Yeah, okay. For a full top to bottom. I mean, this is just a le- this is just a leisurely, leisurely walk. Yeah, okay. No, you're just walking around. You walk through the lounge. You walk through the kitchen. And you start climbing up the stairs to the second level. Yeah. Why are there footsteps above you? I'm gonna ping let I'm gonna ping lettuce and uh Vector, see if either one of them's awake. Uh, how do you guys respond? Lettuce is asleep. Uh, you don't get a response from him. Is Victor semi-conscious? Yeah, and you know, he's trying to go to sleep. When his calm link rings, he's gonna say, "Frag it." And just pick it up. And say, "What's up?" Where are you right now? In bed. Why? He says as he spoons uh, lettuce. <laughs> no. Wake up your boyfriend. I mean, got how many beds are there in the apartment, sir? Uh, I, I think, I think, uh... There's probably, like, multiple rooms, to be fair. Yeah. yeah La- Larry's the guest, gonna say... The guest rooms are on the second floor of this apartment. Okay. Um... Okay, I think I heard someone up above... Uh, on the second floor where you guys are at, I'm gonna I'm going to check it out. Just be just stay on comes, just stay on comes, and I will. If I start screaming, you better wake him up because I don't think I'll last very long if they've got shotguns. If they have guns, get your ass down here. Cool. So, so Larry, uh, do you have any method to see in the dark? 
Uh, actually, yes. My gla my gla I believe my glasses have low light vision. Have low light. Right. As you go. Well, see the the footsteps were from up above again. They're up. The footsteps oh. are up on the third st third floor. Okay. As you go up there, you see, with your low light vision, a man in black tactical pajamas. Everybody, let's roll some initiative. Hmm. Man, I, I'm I'm rolling hot tonight, boys. So I crit glitch my initiative. Uh, you can't Bravo. glitch an initiative. I I, I know. That was a... Yeah. How do you have that high initiative. initiative roll? Uh, because I'm an adept. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that's hence the not so good at decking. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. Ah, that makes sense. And that's me. Oh wait, why wait, wait? Oh no, it's not four. It's uh seven. Uh, why I put four of all things? So total of nine. So no, no huge difference anyway. So. All right. Cool, Victor 9 gets 20. Yes, sir. Larry gets 13. Yep. Yes, sir. And Lettuce gets 6. Less is at 9. It's 9, but I accidentally put 4 instead of 7 on my uh, static initiative. Uh, Lettuce, I don't know why are you I put leaving four. awake? Or would have Victor 9 have woken you up? To be prepared. Um, I just roll surprise, I guess, which is the best thing I could think of for being woken I, up. I would have woken you up. Fair but... enough. Victor 9 woke Lettuce up. Lettuce does not have to make a surprise check. He is weary that contact may happen. Right. Uh, okay, so... Da -da 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 -da. You don't do anything. Uh, Victor 9. Alright, I will... Uh... You know, get ready into a combat position, pop some psych, and rally the troops. Uh, okay, you pop some more psych. You are actually the f on the floor below uh, where Lowry's excited squawk comes from. Alright, <laughs> um, so I'm going to rally the troops a little. Okay, are you going to go to Lowry? Oh, just everyone add one to your initiative. Neat. Mm, nice. Oh yeah, it's the, I'm I'm useful, guys. Hey, you're faster than the nin You're just ahead of the ninja. Uh, and yeah, he will head towards them, I suppose. Uh, behind lettuce, of course. Um, lettuce is, you know, whoa, at ten. Yeah. Okay. So let's go down. Um, he's not going to do anything, because, yep. All right, Lowry, you are looking at a large and powerful orc with four cyber limbs standing guard upon the door with an Ares Alpha slung and low across his body. He sees you, makes a yell, and you make a yell, but you get to act, you get... Just enough of the drop on him. What are you going to do, Lowry? Um, 